this a bit closer to you, Jill, can I see the end of here? No, but then so that you can hear me. We are asking the questions. I'll see you both. Okay, right, so. Okay, so go ahead, Sharon. Yeah. Okay, all right, then we'll welcome everyone to the Planning and Environment uh, Committee. Um, emergency evacuation procedure is only relevant to the guys that are in the um, in the office. Um, I think uh, everybody knows what that is. Um, Filming the recording of the meeting in line with the openness of local government bodies, Regulation 2014, this meeting uh, will be filmed uh, or recorded by the Town Council or members of the public. Uh, item number one, submissions from the public. Have we got any submissions from the public? I understand there's a member of the public joined. Hello there, I'm Andrew Shaw, I'm just... I'm a councillor in Stoke Gift, but I'm just joining just as an observer, really, to oh. see how you do things differently to how we may do things, that's all. Okay, all right. Well, welcome. Uh, Andrew Shaw, okay, lovely. Thanks. Um, so, if there's nothing else from the public, then I think we move to point two. Um, to receive any apologies for absence? Um, no, I haven't had any. I knew yeah. that Tony was stuck on, on a motorway somewhere and was hoping to join via Zoom. But, um. Yeah, he might join later actually. So, okay, thank you. So, um, number three, declarations by members under the Local Government Act 1972. Any declarations? I'm going to take that as a no. Moving on, uh, number point number four, announcements by the chair. I don't have any announcements to make. Um, number five, to confirm the minutes of the meeting of the 26th of August 2020 as a correct record. Well, this is interesting, Sharon. What do we do now? Uh, well, um, Michael can sign as he is vice chair of council. On the floor. Okay. <laughs> okay, all right then. So, um, over to you, Sharon. So, you've had the morning, you're again in fact, so if you're happy with them, you need a proposal and seconder, please. In Ed's proposed there. Ben seconded. Ben seconded. Councillors all present, can you take a vote then, please? One, two, three, four. Keith, I, Andy. Andy? I think Andy might have frozen. Oh, yeah, he's, yeah. oh, yeah, he has his name. Microphone is off. Our video is on our channel. Huh? Our video is on our channel. Yeah. He's disappeared. Oh dear. Back, and you there. Yeah, that was there. Yeah, he's back. Hello, Andy. Hello. Andy. Hello. 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 Yeah. 
and Mark King. Christy Spindler is on secondment and she's dealing with all of these social distance schemes. Is it worth us contacting her? So I've, I've got her. Point. I think so, yeah. Isn't it just, am I right in saying that it, it is, although it is, there's a, an emphasis now because of COVID, it hasn't it been outstanding from far before COVID though? Yeah, it was. I remember yeah. Tony saying. Yeah, originally it was years ago and they, we, they did explore it and we did get some grant money to do a temporary fix. Uh, they couldn't afford to do what would be a major project, so we did try it several years ago. I think Tony, yeah. That's right, yeah. I think Tony's trying to come in at here, actually. Tony, did you want to say something? Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah. This, this is a really common project. It's been going on for years now. And, and I know they're trying to do something with the COVID just to make it a little bit higher, but that's not what we've asked for. All the last four to do the job, which was last four probably about six years ago. Yeah. Um, to to wind that up at, at that particular point. Now I understand Franklin has chased it, and he said it was in some sort of planning stage um, uh, because there there was some additional money, I believe, from South Australia to improve actual cycle that. Which is, I believe coming down from central government. Um, but I, it, it's, um, I think it's really up to Franklin to, to come up with um, where we are at the moment. And Tony, can I just ask your opinion? Um, yeah. Do you think the best approach is for um, because the the the, um, the resident has made um, you know sort of said that he's not heard from any um, councillors. Do you think it's appropriate for me to contact them or Franklin? Um, well, it, it might. It wouldn't do any harm if, um, if Karen sent a, a letter, a number of letter to the South Coast to say that this is not what we were requesting. What we are requesting is that the pleasure path is widened at that point, which we asked for many years ago, something like that. Yeah, but Sharon's just mentioned that she thought she was, she said, she, you know, she said she thought because of the fact that I mentioned that no councillors have actually been in touch with him, I believe it's a him, um, you what know, was the or, yeah. Um, so yeah, Sharon, I, I, in that case, yeah, we could contact the resident to say that, you know, we are looking at this and, and we want to get a conclusion. And do you think that more appropriate um, for Franklin? as a South Gloucestershire person, or me, as the Bucky uh, Stone? Uh, um, I think I'm going to do it. I think, I, so, uh, just two secs, um, Tony. Can I just put you on hold a second? Because Andy's trying to come in with a, a point here. Andy? Andy, did you want to say something? Yes, I was just saying that I uh, think sometimes an approach from the chair is quite nice. I know in the past a couple of things that I got involved in, I actually went along, knocked on the Blake's door and, and oh, okay. chat and let him know exactly what we were doing. I think they just get annoyed the fact that they're not being kept in the loop. So yeah. it might be quite nice for you to pop along or, or contact him. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's no problem. I'll do that. Right, and I've got to send a follow-up letter to South Gloucester, and actually I will send it directly to Kirsty then. Yeah. yeah. Um, sure. Sharon, Sharon, could I ask you please um, just to give me a summary of what's taken place so far, just so that when I, I think Andy's point is a good one, uh, to have a personal visit, I'll go around and see him, but if you could give me a summary of what, you know, where we, exactly where we are and what we've been yeah, I'll send that through to you tomorrow. Right, Tom. Lovely. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, I think so, he's, he's got his hand up there. Oh, sorry, Kitty. That's all right. Yeah, I mean, Andy's right. It would be good to come from yourself. But what I would be a bit concerned about is how did this resident contact the two councillors? Was it through Bradley Stokes' uh, emails? Or did he write to them, or she write to them, direct? Yeah. I, it came in through us, if you remember, a couple of meetings ago. 
I then said that I would pass, when we sent the letter and also the residence details, I said was, were they happy for me to pass it on to the South Cross Ward councillors and the resident said yes, which I then did. Oh, yeah. so, so really speaking then, the onus is on those two councillors to respond. If they don't, then I mean he, he, he or she could start raising complaints that the councillors are ignoring them. Well that's really um, what, where I was coming from when I was asking, to be honest, because I do, I agree with you, I think that there should be, uh, I agree with both really, because I think it would be good from the Bradley Stoke point of view for me to go and visit, but also to ask one of the councillors that have been, you know, uh, engaged, um, yeah. so contact, so that he's, so there's a big loop there. Yeah, I'm, 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 paper I'm, trial, I'll take written. Yeah. I'm quite happy to follow that up with the South Coast councillors initially. Okay, yeah. great, and then if you, if you give me that summary, then I'll, I'll actually go and visit, and um, tell me where the person lives, of course, <laughs> if you <laughs> um, and then I'll go and visit them. Okay, all right, then well, if everyone's happy, then we'll move on to point seven, uh, to note the outcome of previous planning applications and other documents pertaining to planning and environment issues. So you had that in your agenda pack originally, and then I sent for an update. There was one extra, so there have been 12 decisions, 11 of which agreed with um, the STC comments. Okay, thank you. Point eight to repair responses. Well, Sorry, Keith? Uh, oh, it's, I was just saying it's full marks, bar one, isn't it? <laughs> Point eight. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah not bad. Right. Yeah, yeah, one exactly. there, one and all. <laughs> yeah, we must no. put that on the, uh, on the, uh, the right. washer, you know, we're getting better. Um, okay, so. Right. They always agree with us when we say yes, they don't agree with us when we say no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so um, point A is to prepare responses for the proper authorities regarding planning applications relating to Bradley Stoke. Uh, I will start to share my screen so that you have some in your agenda packs and I then sent through more. So you now have a total of twelve. And I do apologise, Andy, that you printed out the one I sent, and then I sent another one a bit later on after that. Literally about a minute after I... Uh, no, blame yeah. South Cross for that, because it literally just came in, and I sent everything out, and then five minutes later, another planning application came in. But because, obviously, this is, um, it's five weeks till next planning committee, we, act like we couldn't carry them over to the next one, so, yeah, so... So I will share my screen in a second. I just share the screen. That screen is that right? We share it all in here. I think everything on there will be sharing. I'll, I'll mute myself again. She's snoring in the background. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, ben, just while that's happening, where do you actually? Where's the sort of signal for sharing your whole desktop rather than just your screen? So when you click the share button, you get the option to share all or share the individual applications you want to share. Yeah. Just means that Sharon doesn't have to swap around on the different windows. Yeah, no, I think that's a good idea, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Okay, so the first one is P21635 or EDR, the erection of Conservatory. Conservatory, really conservatory at 101 Campion Drive, Bradley. That's replacing the existing one, isn't it? Right, there's the next, I can just open them all. So. Permitted development. Right, so. Just get the Google image up. 
wonder how some of these streets got their names. I've got the crannies here and near me you've got bells, neither of which words can I find in an English dictionary. No, I don't know where the fun is going. <laughs> I've always wondered about the fun actually. It's a bit of a strange word, that one. Michael, you really need to get out more. If you're looking for the names <laughs> in the dictionary. <laughs> if I get out much more, my wife will complain much more. <laughs> P21655F, the erection of single storey rear extension for additional living accommodation at six of the family. Uh, so it is. This house on the left here. Yeah. Ah. I think that was our for Adams on the house. So it's this house here, the first one. Yeah. Are they changing that conservatory or? So, yeah. Squared. So this is there's the existing block plan and there's the proposed block plan. So what we've got there is that small little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's just widening that. Yeah. Move it, Chair. I support it. I agree. I agree. Yeah. You know, block plan it doesn't show the extension on the house next door that the Google image shows. <laughs> So that's the four. Proposed by Pete and seconded by Tom. So, Council, can you take a vote on that one, please? For those in favour? Yeah. yeah. I think that one's unanimous. Thank you very much, Councillors. 
Very good at this, so. She is. That's when it go wrong. <laughs> Spaces there. I think so. That's the way it looked on the. Um... Oh, well, that's. Uh, the, the mm. He just said I was getting on all right with it. Oh, no. I bought you juice. Oh, hi. Can I call you back? Because I'm just on it in a council meeting. Oh. Is that okay? Yeah, 
Become anything, couldn't it? But you're losing the car parking spaces, yeah. Yeah, the garage. Yeah. It might be, it might be they, not the purposes, yeah. but it might be for um, an elderly relative or something. It could be, yeah, it could be, but that's that's the classic, you know. I mean, that's what they always say to get it. But, um, but I'd be a bit concerned that you're losing the two parking spaces that come with that house, yeah. and where are those cars going to go if this separate property now? doesn't have the facility for that house's parking. Those what? cars will end up, up out on the roof. What's the yeah. first floor? Yeah. And Rose is new there. Have they been picked up and up to uh, say something? Sorry, just say that again, Sharon. I can't see any hands. Ed was waving at the screen. Yeah, I'm you here also. Ed, do you want to, do you want to come in? Ed, did you did you have a comment to make? Unmute, Ed. Unmute, yeah. Okay. You hear me now? Yeah. 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 The, the 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 bit I wanted to to intersect on was the point where we're questioning that neighbours police an aspect and report. You 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 should not cannot say those things. We do not operate in the police state. And under no circumstances, I believe, that we should ever consider that to be an option when considering the case. It's not upon someone else to police it. If we yeah. feel there needs to be some form of guidance on that, or some form of record keeping on that, then that has to be official. You can't have other people doing that for you. And, and I wish to protest that that, that, that is, is, is being said. What is your view then about how we should approach this, given that there's a comment on there that says the application will only be considered if the um, annex is maintained as an integral part of that building? What is your view about how we, how we proceed then? Um, I, 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 I would put a lawyer's hat on this and say that that is incumbent upon the house. Is it incumbent upon the owner and subsequent owners? And that if it is found not to be, what is the penalty? You, you, you have to be very clear when oh. someone's putting a... Oh. Um, just, just, um, is yeah. that Tony trying to come in? Is that Tony trying to come in? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, I'm not quite clear who's speaking there, but do you want to say again? Yeah, yeah Tony. Oh, hi, Tony, sorry. Yeah, just, just looking at the plan, there is no access for the house through the house itself. Um, there's actually a good reason There's a door that goes into the utility room. 
No, I, I, I think but, it's pretty room is part of the main house. I think there is exactly. yes. part of the main house. Yes. You can't access the utility room from the ancillary, the ancillary oh. building. Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. So, yeah, that's exactly right then. So, so how, how did the chairman and say this is part of the existing house? They say it's a separate building. It is. It's a separate yeah. building. Yeah. And it would be rentable as a separate building. Yeah. They should have their separate parking for everything exactly. here. Yes. Mm. And if it was for an elderly relative, you would imagine that they would make provision for them to be able to access the main house. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Okay, so what do people think then? Should we shall um I, I object, turn it down. I object. Yeah, I'll I'll step in that. Yeah, we all fuck up. Yeah, I see what So what round are you objecting? Loss of all increases. <coughs> Well, the, uh, oh, I've got the evidence this is going to be treated as a separate residence on the evidence presented to us. Just hold on, Andy's trying to come in, I think. No, just wondering what's on the first floor leading up the staircase to it? There's no access upstairs or anything? Bathroom. On this side, there's a staircase for a bedroom. So it's still, it's still self-contained, is it? Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I think I think we should move as as has been suggested. Yeah. But what was the objection? But on the evidence the area. on the evidence presented, this was being treated as a separate residence. Yeah. It's being treated. It's not as a parking Yeah. yeah. That is a parking as a secondary reason to object. There we go. And there is insufficient access to the garden. We live there, neither. It's insufficient parking provision. Yeah. And and yeah, actually, a meeting space as well. There's no meeting space. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No, quite a few. Quite a few things. Okay. So that's. And I'll read that back. So it's. Um, on the evidence presented, this is being treated as a separate, separate residence and there is insufficient parking provision and unit space. I treat that as two separate sentences, they're two different okay. points. Okay. Yeah. I'll bring that out and then put um, there. In insufficient parking provision and community space. Uh, uh, and insufficient community space, yeah. Yeah. Who proposed, who seconded? Yeah, I propose. He proposed and solely seconded. Yeah. That's right. And council, can you vote then? Those in favour of objection? Yes, I object. I have seen evidence. Yeah, I think that one's the unanimous one. Thank you very much, Councillor. Yeah. Yeah. Right, there we go. The next one, I saw the next one out. You'd like two screens, really, don't you? Yeah. And build the people. I do apologise. I didn't get off the South Lost website this afternoon, so there might be a few documents which I couldn't actually access when I was trying to upload everything. Um, Oh, I didn't pick up all your comments from the. Um, have we not got Have we not got a um a a deadline for when applications should be submitted? Um, to give to give plenty of time for preparation. Well, I know what you said about you know it's five weeks to the next meeting, but equally, you know. The, the residents who want the actual application considered should should, be, should know um, if there is actually, I don't know if there is, but if not, we should, maybe should suggest a kind of a cut-off point. Oh, where, no, they, yeah, they will be aware of that. They exactly yeah. expect to a very, very tight deadline, which is why we only generally get three weeks to comment on an application. We can sometimes an extension from the week, so, but not for any length of time. So, 
And that is tied back to, to I think, government and when they had to respond to the application. So, um, okay. yeah. Yeah, it's all right. It looks good, but what are they going to do with that? What is it a bedroom? Well, this bit, the bit here. Yeah. So, the living accommodation. Yeah. So oh, okay. oh, yeah. 
So the next one is P20 174044 TRE. So it's works for various schemes as shown on the submitted schedule of works, all covered by uh, South Gloss TPO 2219, dated 20th of May 2019. So that is. Fort Yard at Woodlands, and if anyone can remember, that is, is literally the, um, the trees that are part of where the office used to be many years ago. So it is this road or oh, oh. the trees up here. Yeah, agree. Agree. It's not. Uh, yeah, second. Yeah, I don't know how. I don't know. This was. I was lost with this one because I thought, well, I don't know what we're supposed to be here. They clearly need attention, they clearly need attention, so we don't know, yeah. you know. Didn't we see so, it? Uh, what are they saying? We had it, we had it last year, um, when they they had to look at like a TPO. Yeah. Um, they put a planning application in and then sat the TPO on the area, so now obviously they come back to carry out specific work. So it's not to fail all of them, it is to do. It's just specific work in individual cases, yeah. Yeah, very important. One of the cases of needing work. Yeah. So. Which is the purpose of the TPO, really, isn't it? To stop them being just decimated. So. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, so Keith, um, Keith's um, supporting. Does that agree? Anybody else? Yeah. I don't think you can do both, Keith. Sorry? I don't think no, you can I, do both. No, I moved it. <laughs> I, I proposed, yeah. That's oh, right, I'll second then, so on, yeah. Thank you. 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 There's Some different, uh, there's four of them, I think, and there's different things that are happening in each case. Yeah, so they're right. pretty general, and they are works that need, get urgent works that need doing. So, so you just have yeah. distance of crowns and things yes. like that. And yes. lifts, or, or it could be that they're, um, you know, reducing the canopy. So some of them need coppicing, some of them need yeah. planting, the head grow. Actually, they're Out of interest, if there's a TPO on them, what sort of trees are they? Were they originally in the planting scheme there originally? Are they old oaks or? I don't know, just says, yeah, I don't know on that well, one. Exactly, these looks like old hedgerow in the area of yeah, the field. It's a lot, um, a lot of them are actually by the looks of it, the ones that they've actually. Oh, the ash dieback. Yeah, and one that's top of that. Branches. I mean, don't forget what the yeah. Willowbrook done once when they took out all the rowing trees. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so it's not that. So it says the trees in this report are a variety of groups. They range from large to small, varied ages and specimens, and with parking within <laughs> recreational roadside areas. Uh, trees requiring work have been identified in Appendix 2. Yeah. Very cool. So that was. So you're, I think you were the only one to pay Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so that, that's unanimous. Then I think Councillor. Thank you very much. The next one is P twenty one six nine seven zero, which is the erection of side extension to existing garage at Eight Great Meadow Road. Uh, is yeah. this one just been added to the agenda? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there are there are a few that I sent through an email and added onto our website. So it is P twenty one six nine seven 
this house on the end here. Mm -hmm. I can show you a um, street view of it if you want. That is what is there at the moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is what is proposed. Okay. It's a big added on the an extra garage. Yeah. Come on. Uh, can we go back on that street scene a minute? Was it a wall or? Was it just a piece of vegetation? It says in the actual. Um, you can zoom in on here, it says. Um, so we're going to let my take that down so you can see it. Yeah, vegetation. And this and a bit of a wall. Yeah. yeah what they and are then doing. you've got the bannings part yeah. the other side. Then, the, yeah, they're moving it to the edge of their property to include a bit of vegetation. But you've still got the parking space there. So they're going out beyond that wall, really, aren't they? They're going out to the edge of their property. If you look on yeah. the edge of their property, so they're coming Have out you... to there. So is that a lay-by to the right where yeah. your work where the red line is? That's half of the way, okay. yeah. Yeah, and that's so the same. Yeah. They're not going into that. That's still where the parking bay. So the pavement? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I think it's I think it's dedicated uh, free parking for anyone who wants to park there, isn't it? That one. Uh, you know, I'm that looking one? at the piece of land which is sort of between the back of the lay-by and the existing garage. I'm quite trying to work out what that is. It's supposed to be very about two hundred yards from my house. Mm -hmm. It's listed as vegetation. Yeah, yeah. vegetation. Yeah, it's vegetation. So this is obviously the edge of their property, their vegetation, I think, because mm. because the wall like starts halfway back here, I think. Mm. The wall is within their property. Yes, it's their wall. Yeah, yeah. and it's, it looks like if you look on the, the plan, it is actually it's their vegetation as well because yeah, yeah, because the what's there at the moment, the vegetation is part of their their site. So presumably a tree will be fouled. Oh, we're losing paper. Yeah. 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 It's a parking bay there. Yeah, so that's what's between the parking bay and the wall. Not a part of no you're saying there's no footpath no, outside. Yeah, that's part of their footprint of their house. Part of their their site. Can you go back to the phase? Yeah. That, that's because their vegetation is really, really thin because they're widening out the driveway to get access to the garden. Yeah, yeah. You use that tree because there's nowhere for that tree to be. So all of that goes. That tree there. Presumably, because I don't see where it can fit on that plan. It would be in the middle of the driveway. Mm -hmm. Because the other part of the existing had a large, that large strip of vegetation went down to the pavement between the lay by. Right. Yeah, they don't actually make any reference to the tree at all. Well, is the loss of the tree a reason for turning it down? Lack of, lots of vegetation. But I don't have to put another TPO on it, I think. That's right. It's, it's quite far forward there, isn't it? But, it yeah, is, I think it's it on that corner, but it's not very clear what you kind of using or what you're using. Yeah, it's just on that corner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not very clear what you're kind of using or um, losing from that vegetation. If the tree is in their land and it's not got a TPO on it, they're fine, they can do what they want. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that as well. It's not a planning issue, is it? No. 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 They're just making better use of their plot. 
if it was a community tree, then fine, you know, they'd have to justify taking it down. It'd have to be diseased, dead, or damaged. But it's in their land, it's their tree, isn't it? Unless it's got bats nesting in it. Well, yeah, you can't disturb bats. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could have a, a bat box put up on the wall, can't you? But... What was your trouble? It would be nice and better understand the impact of the side ring on the plan, that's all. I don't know if I would propose to propose it. Yeah, I'll second Tony. Just to move on. I think that, yeah, well, and actually you can see it clearer at the end of the extent of their land than this one actually. Yeah. Yeah, and making better use of their plots, I think. <clears throat> so, sorry, who proposed no objection? Tony, Tony, Tony and me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Answer, yeah. Thank you, Kate. Vote on that. Those in favour? In favour. Up. Uh. Mm -hmm. P201691F, which is 98 Campion Drive, direction of first floor, rear, and side story extension to provide additional living accommodation. So, uh, two works at the Champion Drive, same time. Sounds attractive. Mm. Yeah, that's a good idea. Can you, can, you that, can you do that again? It's a bit like an eyesight test, left and right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah, so that's what's there at the moment. Okay. So, yeah. And then 
that is what's proposed. So basically, they're coming out here with this bit. Yeah, in. on the front line. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Thank you. Um, sorry, yeah. What's the, uh, mm. what's the material used? Uh, I can zoom in and see. I can't read the writing. Uh, uh, I can just zoom in. So it says, new painted cement render to all elevations of second story extension. Cement render, is it? Yeah. 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 Even the past ones and the new ones, it's like double the size of the house, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What would this bit down with the bit down, down below? Yeah, the building on what has already been extended, isn't it? Mm. Coming out here. Mm. You've got your pen, have you got their actual cooking? Yeah, I have a key. Uh, existing floor plan. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so that's what's there at the moment. Um, open. And, uh, that's what's there at the moment upstairs. So it's got three bedrooms. Yeah. And then we're going to. Three bedrooms plus an master bedroom, so they're adding yeah, a yeah, bedroom yeah. on mm. and a dressing room and yeah. a suite. It's a really good idea. I think we'll get it actually. You're just making better use yeah. of what we've got. I don't think if there's any friends that we could refuse it. No, it's, mm. it's very good. Okay, well, well, yeah, that's what I think as well, exactly. I think we should just agree. Hi, Ed. Yeah. Did you do yeah, okay. Great proposed, no objection, and Pete seconded all this. Yeah. Yep. Thank okay. you. Two favors, please, then. There is a minute, so one, two, three. Is that Tony, yes? Or five? Fab, did you vote in favour? Yeah. I did. Yeah. I think seven. Are you in favour? So that's eight in favour. Against? One against. Thank you very much, Councillor. Bear with me a minute. I'll load up the next one. Yeah, thank you. So the next one. So the next one is. P twenty one seven zero four nine thirty six rotary post erection of a single story rear extension to form additional living accommodation. So I can show you the image. So it is this at this property here. Okay. This one here, so they've already got their dormer. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So I can show you the combined plans, which is always so they are yeah. going from yeah, so 
So we're going from this here to that back. Is there a foot? Is there a foot plate? It's it's not too clear on the diagram. Hey, on your turn. Yeah, it's, I'm looking at it from a face view. Can you show us the foot? Yeah, over to the foot plate. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, okay. I'm going to show you briefly um, again. Yeah, but it's come across the back face again. Right. And no objection from the neighbour? Well, it has literally only just come into the system, literally. Uh, this was one from yesterday. So yeah. Yeah, 
So yeah, proposed and hold seconded. No objection. Councillors, can you take a vote on that? All those in favour? I have to I, I went to the bathroom. I didn't I didn't hear it, so I have to abstain. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So that's eight in favour. One abstention. Thank you very much, Councillor. So last one in this section. One seven six five six F, which is the erection of a single story front and side extension for additional living accommodation, application of Brenda and cladding to external walls, or amendment to a previously approved scheme, PT 18, at 23 the front is. To make their house more eco friendly. So, yeah, they want to create an exemplar eco home they can live in for the next 20 plus years that is warm and comfortable with a very low impact on the environment. And they have received positive feedback from their pre application discussions on the principle of development. What are they actually going to do? Bear with me a minute. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just did in that. I was just reading from that one. So. Lots of panels on the roof, by the way. Um, 
Yeah, so they're creating. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, isn't it? Definitely. I think like the other one, is it? It's not like the other one, no, because it's actually um, integrated into the home. Mm. And you can still get the garage and the yeah, house as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Practical. It's just making better use of their space, isn't it? Yeah. It looked like an electrical charging point on the front of the house as well, one of the other views. Yes, I think they probably are, so they are. They are. They increase in more thickness, or something, with these green bits. Yeah, they're putting that cladding on that you then uh, read yeah. over it. You know, it's about four inches thick. Well, how, how will the presentation of the front of the house change then? The whole thing at the moment is brick. It's going to be, basically, they, they apply the polystyrene, it's like a polystyrene layer, and then it all becomes a render finish instead of painted render finish. Make it warmer. Uh, make it warmer. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you go, you know the traffic lights at uh, Hawthorne on the A38, there's a house on the left-hand side, a huge pink house, which is the one that's famous for having the gorilla outside. Oh, yeah. They did it to that house going back about three years ago. So it, the whole thing is rendered and painted. I just wonder how, how that will look against the rest of the street scene. It's definitely going to stand out because it's yeah. not anything like the other. But then I think they've already passed that element of it. Yes, they, yeah, yeah, they did agree with that, didn't they? So They're really being asked to look at the nitty gritty on top of what's already been agreed, as I understand it. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, so they've got there, so they're. So they've got full agreement for the rendering that they're putting on then all the five styrene plastic they're putting on. Or is that part of this? It's part of this because it's an amendment to the previous scheme. Mm -hmm. okay. Application of render. Uh, it's like it's like the like the render on that one there. And then the tin is it for some bit. Mm. I think we'd be we really would be struggling to refuse anything that's going down as being, you know, moving towards green. It is becoming quite a popular thing to do. Yeah. And really, it's just going to be like a rendered house, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, this will be rendered on the front there. Yeah. Well, the whole thing will be rendered if they're covering, because they're insulating the whole building, aren't they, front and back? Yeah, that's right. So the whole building will be rendered. I'll move it. Is that opposed no objection? I second that. I suspect we'll probably start to see quite a lot of these because it's quite yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. And it's goodness really, yeah. isn't it? Because it's going to be reducing the energy consumption. It does make a significant difference. Mm. Right, so that is it for your planning application. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So, um, if we move now to point number nine, to deal with matters referring to... Is that okay with you, Sharon? I don't want to be rushing you there. Uh, fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah. To deal with matters referring to work within the scope of the Planning and Environment Committee, not covered elsewhere. 9.1. Cribs Causeway Pat Trade Metro Bus Extension. So, you, you have all the, the updates in your agenda pack. And there, all the information that is in there is on our website. Yeah. Uh, so the bridge move is between the October 20, late evening on Saturday, the 24th of October, to the early hours of Saturday, the 7th of November. I guess COVID restrictions allowing. Yeah. So that's just the information really. Not to speak. Uh, did you want to say something, Andy? No, Tony was waving his hand. Oh, sorry, Tony. I can't. Oh, okay then. Hi, Tony. Did you want to speak? I think you're 
on news, Tony. Um, hey there. What is I've got to do from my uh, no, I'm, I'm actually up on the uh, M42. Uh, because I got stuck in the uh, two hour cut off of the motorway this morning on the M5. All I wanted to do just before I go was to say, I know I haven't got to this video, but the first process you have to be told tree planting and thankful land. Mm. I'm all in favour of it, the trouble is, the diagrams which have come in don't tell you where the trees are going or anything. It just says, very sexual, 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 very uh, there, will, there will definitely be more information forthcoming uh, from South Gloucester. Yeah. Actually, it seems to work very closely with us and the um, Radisco Bloom and also the Euro Carbon Group. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. that's hunt, Karen. But what I'm saying is, what's the point in sending the plan out? We don't tell you anything. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we need to know that. Yeah. I apologise for the plan, because she's working from home, but yes, she, she did acknowledge, I did acknowledge that they are by no means ideal. It would help if we knew pieces of the trees, because how high are they going to go? You know, I mean, we had this years ago. Anyway, that's, that's all I wanted to say on that note. Yeah. Just we need some more information from South Wales. Where yeah. is their point? Yeah. That's all I wanted to say. So on that note, I, I'm sorry about leaving, but I still got a lot of hours to go to get back to Okay, bye Tony, thank you. Bye bye, thank you. Bye. 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 Yeah, I support Tony on that. We need to know what type of species and everything. Yeah. It could be the wrong species, they could grow we, we, 100 foot high. You do that when we get to that one. I think yeah. that's what we throw a bit more on that. Okay, so um, and we've completed on the um, Metro bus extension, so 9.2. Annual review of the STC environmental statement relating to Bradley Stoke. Are you happy with your agenda pack? Can I make some comments on that, please? Of course. It's mostly um, grammatical, I must admit. The fourth one down. It shouldn't compare this copy of oh. We're not comparing ourselves with people. Okay, well, thanks for that. Two from the bottom. <laughs> yeah? The, the clarification. Delete it may and insert that may uh, arise to help it identify an event. Okay, so, scrutinise adverse impacts to the environment. You know, what you say yeah, then instead of it may, that may arise to help it and then carry on with the identify. And that may arise to help it. Identify. And in the last one, we want to take out the words reduce and in the first line, because I'm sure we don't want to reduce conservation natural resources. Mm -hmm. so, so take out to reduce and put to read there. Yes, just to delete it. Look to read, yeah, in the conservation of natural And then he's very grammatically picky. You want to comma after resources in the next line. Come on, let me just sub-edit on it. A full point at the end of that line after natural gas. And then uh, the last little line to read, it um, will not waste these resources. I was looking at that last bullet earlier on, I was thinking it doesn't quite really <laughs> work. It's a good magical mix of. I seem to remember that it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Well, I'm just like making it for that, so. Anytime you want to do stuff, anything, I don't charge. <laughs> duties in a way it leads. So I, item four, it leads environmental initiatives. Do we have to provide proof that we're doing that? If we're making statements to the public that we will be doing something, where do we come up with the proof? I, I don't want to take the time. Well, well, I think what I'd like to do with the, with, with the councillor's permission is I'll think more on these things and write to Sharon with my comments, and then we can all see those uh, in, in an email. In respect of what proof of, of what we're doing for these things? Well, yes, because it, 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 if this was under question, and I, I was coming along as an auditor, for example, um, I might say under Bradley Stokes Town Council in Natural Beauty will support the protection, well, how are you doing that? Have you done it? Have you been successful? You're making an open statement. So I just, wish, I just wish to be careful of the kind of worms we could be opening ourselves up to. I know it's conjecture, but at the same time, I would just like to understand our limitations. Well, in respect of actually picking up on that one, we do fund Three Brooks Nature Conservation Group who carry out work on the nature reserve and, um, yeah, so and in, in respect of environmental initiatives, we are researching solar panels and we also grant funds, have just grant funded the Bradford State Bureau Carbon Group. We did all the LED light like, things. We did, we did yeah, overcome, we did, I think, yeah, uh, Ed's point. Uh, Stuff, so After yeah. the words will in all the first five, we put the words endeavour to. Yeah, that's just don't yeah, endeavour to provide yeah, this item. Yeah, that's a good idea. And then it's sufficiently Yeah. I'll put that in for me. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, you happy with that, Ed? Yes, thank you. Okay. Oh, it goes all the way down, actually. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. We'll end that up, yeah. Okay, thank you. So is that, sorry, is that uh, an anonymous vote then? Yep, I'm in favour. Yes, marvellous. That's lovely. Hey, yeah, marvellous. Brilliant. Thank you. I will now add uh, one back in. You can just join us. Some cynic once described endeavouring as being as trying hard but not quite succeeding. <laughs> yeah. 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 So if we move on now to uh, 9.3, the tree planting, planting on council land item. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, so that's what we're carrying out the tree planting project over three years. They did some parishes last year and they are looking at flood and stoke for this year. Uh, so last year they did Thornbury, Doddington, Sodbury, Oldham, Gifford, um, and we are on the list for this year. So now the biodiversity officer, Sally Patterson, she, she really did apologise for the map, but I didn't have a coloured version of the map. One of the patches of that and they've identified in Bradford State East is like in front of people's front doors. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but 
she said, you know, it, it's not a case of they're going to plant two under trees in every single bit of green. And the trees that... Yeah, I've actually got like, um, I've got the trees that are actually going to be planted in one identifiable place name on each map. Yeah. Otherwise it looks like a child's maze. But she she is working from home and she didn't have access to the map. So actually the big map which I have in the office on the wall matches up perfectly <coughs> with the maps in here. So this one is Brighton Stoke North. And if you have that map and hold it up, you can clearly see from the South Block map where the roads are. Mm. So that is Aztec Roundabout is there, that's Woodland Lane is there, this is the Hair Tree Aldi Roundabout, this is a way down here. So then have it was here, it's north east. So this is Bradley Stoke West. <clears throat> then there is Bradley Stoke Mid. Where's the Willow Brook on that? So help me get myself orientated. As you Willow Brook counts as Mid. This is, I think, this here is Hawkins Crescent. So the Willowbrook will be where the word mid is. Yeah, on and the, the word would be up there. Right. Actually, no, that wouldn't be that. This is why what Tony said that we need more info. Yeah, well, we it, but we will get more info. This is for you to give staff an indication that you are keen to be involved in a planting project. Oh, yes. I think we all are, aren't we? I think we just, you know. So, yeah, but what, what, so what they are saying is that you read the written bit, it says, um, so they are obviously contacting us, and then, um, so it says, I'm working with the Woodland Trust, who are providing small native UK, UK free wicks. So they're only about 30 centimetres tall, but they're very small. So they've got 11... 1,500 open spaces across the whole of South Ross, um, and they, they've been surveyed and approximately 10% have been suitable for tree planting. Sometimes just one tree, sometimes a box, sometimes a hedge. So it's a very small three tree, and most suited small woodland blocks and hedges. Well, my personal view is that we need more information about exactly what is going where. Because, yeah. you know, we could be opening up a really, really big can of worms here for the <coughs> residents. I mean, some people obviously, you know, will be completely don't mind if they've got trees outside the house, you know, and they, they have to, you know, swerve a tree when they leave the house. But other people might not be very happy. And I think there's no way that we could, I don't think anyway, ag agree or give an opinion unless we can see clearly what's what's going where. They yeah. start to plant them. They're saying here that they're planting them. No, uh, what, what she's asking from the town council or the, the parish and town council is that it's more clear whether or not the, the council are in favour of a project happening in Bradford Stoke. In principle, yes. Yeah, yeah. I don't think well, 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 then then doing looking at it in more detail if the council don't want it to happen whatsoever. So that's all. Oh, I think well, I think we should say um, as long as everyone else agrees, I think we should say we are we as as Michael said we agree in principle, uh, but the caveat is that we want to have more detailed, clear. Um, indication of what is going, what the plan is for what is going where. Yeah. 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 Nice. Chair, on the front, Maggie. We yes. are we identify issues, don't we? Right. So on the front, the front notes, it is to provide feedback on the issues we identify. So yeah, the clarity of the maps, and then some of them are glaringly strange places to stick trees, and you look at the map and think where that is. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. 
Like, sure. Um, Tom, yeah, Keith, sorry, please. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this, um, these trees are coming from the Woodland Trust, but, you know, this is a bit like history repeating itself in some respects. Stoke Gifford had trees from the Forest of Avon back in, I don't know, 70s, something like that. And those trees turned out to be totally the wrong species of trees. They were given to the parish, so they were planted free. The only problem was those trees came back to bite the traders at Stoke Gifford in a big way. We had to clear, we ended up having to clear roundabouts where they had subtropical species of trees. And the caption of the Evening Post was, this way to the urban jungle. And you had the traders stood there with the backdrop of the trees behind them, like a thick, dense wood, in the middle of a roundabout yeah and and it was hard work trying to get the council to remove those trees because there were utilities and everything underneath and even to carry out the you know some of the work we ended up having to uh, close the roads off around the roundabout but yeah. the traders desperately wanted their shops to be seen so that they could sell their, their produce but people couldn't see those shops for the trees yeah now I, I would hate to think that we're going back down that road of accepting three free trees which is fine if they're planted in the right place and they are yeah. the right beaters exactly. we need yeah. more information yeah that's quite right in the written information it does say under 3.4 trees yeah. It will be supplied free by the Woodland Trust, consisting of native species including oak, field maple, birch, crab apple, rowan, hazel, hawthorn, cherry, alder, and willow. Yeah. Uh, still thing we need, a still thing we need, a detailed plan of what is intended to go where. Um, because I just think that we shouldn't be, in my personal view, I don't think we should be hijacked um just because uh, there's a an of trees i think yeah. we, you know i think we should be quite supportive of it but as long as we get the fine detail so that we know what we're actually agreeing to yes yes so trees are great in the right place but i'll tell you what when you've got to get them out it costs a lot of money <laughs> exactly and if we're talking about oaks we are talking about serious you know ramifications later on Mm. No, and, and the roots go into the drains and everything. Yeah, okay, so in the interest of time, can we just agree that, that, that that's what our approach is going to be? That we're going to feed back to say we are supportive in, in uh, principle, but we want to clear... Well, um, uh, yeah, the, 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 the wording was that we were afraid in paper, in principle, that we can't get more detailed information. We yeah. We need much more detail on tree types and location. I do. I do think we go one step further though, and kind of link on to what Keith said, because some, even some of these places go on roundabouts. Yeah. And it's mad. That's why. Exactly. Yeah. That's why we need to know. No, no, no. What, no. what they're saying, they want us to identify. Really yeah. I'm saying we, as well as as well as saying that, we've got just by looking at the, the crude maps, there are some points on that you can identify and say, look, these are. Immediately problem spaces, but the clarity of the map, you can't identify everything. Yeah, I'll go back to that. If you're happy, I'll go back to the other three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. thank you. Yeah. 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 Okay, all right, thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We need to say that yeah. we really need to get to the root of the problem. <laughs> Very good. Ben, can you shoot in? Um, okay. um, anyway, in the interest of time, let's let's move along. Um, we, sorry, Sharon. Sorry, Sharon. Go on. And the second of the vote for that, please. Yeah, I Sorry, I didn't realize we were going to have to vote. I'll do that. I'll do that. Okay. Composed. I second. Oh, Ed seconding. Blake, all those in favour? Aye. Yeah, that's lovely. Thank you very much.
Yeah, as it's an annual thing, uh, because of the big claim uh, right now, this campaign going on in South Claus, uh, for the on part of the uh, community and gaming forum, we are actually conducting a big claim on the 27th, just to note down as to other members, okay? So 27th of this month, that's on the Sunday. Anybody wants to come, there are six people welcome to do the big clean program in South Claus. I mean, we are actually doing it in Bradley Street. Sorry, what date? What was that? What date? Big, big clean. Part of the hour and more The date, Tom. Date. 27. September. Oh, Sunday. Sunday. Meeting where they're doing what? Yeah. So, litter picking, that sort of thing, yes? Yeah. Yeah. That's all. But when? When? Meeting? Where are you assembling? And At Jubilee Green. Alright. What time? 10 o'clock. Makes sense, yeah. Jubilee Green's going to be the cleanest place in the whole planet. Everyone keeps meeting, yeah. We can do litter picking on the last time we went to litter picking on Jubilee Green, we had to look for some litter, we couldn't find any litter. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but even at that time, we picked up six bags. Yeah, that is true, yeah, definitely. Well, that's because it was imported litter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, thank you for that then. So, number 10, to deal with matters relating to health and safety. Can I raise just one thing, uh, Jerry, if I may? Um, <laughs> Bailey's Court Activity Centre, it isn't actually vandalism, I don't think, but the paint and wooden covering on the cricket um, pavilion underneath the scoreboard. I, I raised this um, some months ago and needed replacing. Well, it's um, a mess again, you've got bare wood. Uh, so uh, it's, uh, it's not a huge amount, but you know, we'll get in there and it's going to damage it. Yeah, that's not a good yeah. Yeah. What can we do about that then, do you think? Just really thick, thick. Oh. Probably not a pig is all it's really needed, yeah. so you can't, uh, this is what happened before, yeah. and it was, uh, Dell arranged it and got it done very speedily, um, so it, look, it looks better if you've got all painted rather than largely painted with bits of wood pe peering through. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, 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 oh. Is that, can that be an action then, Sharon, for yeah. Yeah. to investigate? So you have the, the quarterly health and safety report in your agenda pack. Yeah. I could see a lot of orders um, and orders placed. How much money we have to spend on health and safety because of the COVID right now? Extra money. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously a lot of this stuff doesn't come out of the, the COVID budget. This is linked to health and safety. But we are in the process. Our rate is actually looking at stepping up the Budget so we can keep an eye out for spending. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Hello, Chair. Um, I also a thanks note to our Wiki who drafted the report and also a bit of a concern regarding our roof flashing light while sparking at the for the van, okay, or the brookway during daylight. I'm a bit I'm concerned about it, and I'm thinking yeah. about the police was not able to find those people in daylight. Mm -hmm. They did it, it took them like a minute literally to rip it off. Um, they don't want to cut it out before the hand. Yeah. Then the police can be on images and spend a lot of money on the CTC. I don't know if it's quick for everyone. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, and they knew what they were doing. They had to start asking, they did drive with registration plates. They knew what they were doing. Just for a blue flashing light. Orange flashing light. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of effort there. I know, it's really cheap. Because it didn't. Cost a fortune to replace, so it's just like, oh, you just want to bought one yourself. Yeah. 
Um, can I just make a comment about the what what's contained in this report? Because mm -hmm. there's a couple of things um, mentioned uh, for Bailey's Court uh, roof repairs. I don't know why why there's two uh, a week apart, and also why would that be included in a health and safety report? Because it's anything that's linked to health and safety. So if you have a leaking roof, that's obviously a health and safety issue. And they did the first repair, and then when they were up to the next repair, they found another repair that needed to be done first. That was in another committee meeting, though, right? The first one, yeah, that, that was the first repair, yeah. So, so all of these things are, are linked to health and safety in some respect. Tree work, urgent tree work. Yeah, because the tree was yeah. going to fall down on people. Um, <laughs> uh, they're all linked to health and safety issues, really. So. Okay. And that's um, urgent tree work for babies. Two, two times, uh, the two instances of urgent tree work. 21st of August and the 6th of August. These seem these things seem to be repeating in Bailey's court. Mm. That's just the way it is actually. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is there's two significant amounts, one for 695 on the 6th of August, and one for uh, the 21st of August for exactly the same thing for another 505. Um, I can help on one of them. It was a tree um, fairly close. If you go past the front of Bailey's court on the cricket side. And follow the path round. There was a tree about 50 yards down, which had quite a large branch that was uh, being either off by landing or something, or pulled off by vandals. It was leaning about 45 degrees and held up by about a third of the amount of wood that it should be. Yeah, and the yeah. other, uh, they were in the uh, principal play area, and they needed obviously urgent looking out so that they didn't fall down and um, damage the young child. Okay. All right. That's all the comments I had on that one then. Chair, could we just pass on thanks to Vicky for her report? Yeah, we normally, oh, we I normally propose acceptance of the report and a vote of thanks. I already put the spell there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you've got your hand up to speak or are you voting? No, to speak. I just wanted to know what all the Harris fencing was for. Right, so one of the Harris fencing is for the cricket wicket. And once we've got it, we can then use it not, not during the cricket season around the other place, but on the slope, like the festival and potentially for fireworks and other events. And the other one is to keep the these are on the bowling green because they are, we've tried electric fences, we've tried orange snow fencing, and they're very good at jumping. Foxes are very loud. Foxes are very loud. They're also very agile. Howling, close to us. That's horrible. That's a dying dog thing on them. Very. answer the question, Andy. Thank you. Very pleased to see a couple of people from the tenant from the cricket club who are hard at work did yesterday or the day before yesterday um, from preparing the square for winter, so yeah. it's uh, going to be in good condition next yeah. summer. When the Harris Fence actually goes around it, um, it stopped the sorted, hopefully, it stopped the sorted young people. I was cycling across it and Margaret and I walk down there quite regularly. I must admit I haven't seen that. If anyone gets onto it, it's usually a little two or three year old who's escaped from his parents. Yeah, we get, we haven't. Um, shall we take a vote on, on yeah. those points? Yeah. Thank you. Um, the 11.11, uh, still with the following financial matters, 11.1 to approve bills and direct debits for payments. The only comment I wanted to um, raise on this is the one where it says uh, Energize, 30th of September, um, Community Festival, September 20. Yeah, that's the first payment connection festival. 
We play it. We play it over ten miles. Oh, okay. That's the first one. And fingers crossed, it will actually be able to. Uh, okay. Thanks. So this two five two zero is just the total it will finally end up being. No, that's what we get paid. So the budget is twenty one thousand, and that's split over ten months. So it's going to be one hundred yeah, a month. Okay. All right. Thank you. That's all I wanted to ask on that one. Happy to propose, but... Thank you. Yeah, second. Can you take a vote on that, please? Those in favour? Okay. Lovely. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. And the final point is to confirm the date and time of the next meeting, which is 28th of October, Wednesday the 28th of October. 2020 at 7 p.m. Thank you, Chair. You're welcome. Very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Keith, and everybody. Um, so I think uh, there's no... Oh, hold on. Sorry. No, we've got a comment coming from Edward Rose. Oh, we're just saying bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>